Hi everyone, it's Pastor Wagner. This is my weekly video blog. Today I want to talk about how nobody knows the date or even the season of Christ's return. People have been trying to predict the date of Christ's return for the last nearly 2,000 years, and all of them have failed, and all of them will fail, and there's a good reason for that, because Jesus Christ himself said that nobody knows the day or the hour. Jesus said in Matthew 24, verses 42 through 44, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Then Jesus reiterated it in even stronger terms in language in Mark 13, Mark 13, 32 through 35. Jesus said, But of that day and, uh, and that hour knoweth no man. That day and hour is the return, is the day of his return. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Verse 33, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave, great, and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Jesus said very plainly, we do not know the time of his coming. Jesus himself in his humanity didn't even know the time of his own return, nor did the angels. Mark 13 and verse 32, let me read it for you again. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Now Jesus is God. In his divine nature, he would have known everything. He would have known the day of his return. But in his human nature, Jesus didn't even know himself the day of his return. So how presumptuous is it for a man to presume to know the day of Jesus' return when Jesus Christ himself, nor the angels of God, know what that day or that hour is? Now, some will try to avoid the plain statements of Jesus by, instead of setting a date, they'll set an end point, an outer limit to when Christ's coming will be. So they'll say, it's going to happen by this date or before. So they try to get around this day or hour thing by just setting the outer limit. But you know, there's a couple of problems with this. Firstly, the Bible says that not only do we not know the day and the hour, but we don't even know the times or the seasons. You see, it's not just the day and hour, it's the times and the seasons, the whole season of the coming of the Son of Man, we do not know. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 2, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You don't know when a thief is coming until he shows up. That's what Paul's saying. Of the times and the seasons, not just the day or the hour, so the general time and the general season of Christ's return, we don't even know that. Secondly, if you make an outer limit, if you make a day, let's say we, we make it the day before the outer limit, if we, if we may, let me, let me rephrase, if we make it to the day before the day of the outer limit, then we indeed do know the day of Christ's return. Let me give you an example. For instance, let's say that somebody sets the outer limit of the day of the date of Christ's return to December 31st, 2050. And they say, I've done some calculations and, the, and I've concluded that Jesus Christ will return by December 31st, 2050 or before. And then he'll say, no, I haven't set a date. I've just set an outer limit. Okay, now think about this. What if we make, what if we make it to the day before that outer limit expires? What if we do? What if we make it to December 30th, 2050, the day before the outer limit? If we make it to that day, would we not know the date of Christ's return? Of course we would. If the prediction is true, we would know that Christ is coming back the next day, the last day of the outer limit, right? Now, if the man is right, then we know the day of Christ's return, and Jesus is a false prophet. Because Jesus said nobody knows the day of his return. And yet, this man has made a prediction 
We've made it to the day before the last day the prediction could be true, and therefore we know the day of Christ's return, and Jesus is a false prophet. That's a big problem. If the man is wrong and Christ doesn't come on December 31st, 2050, then the man is a false prophet because he's made a prophecy saying that Christ will come on or before December 31st, 2050. This is a hypothetical. And if that doesn't happen, he's a false prophet. And I wouldn't want to be a false prophet. Go read in the Bible what happens to them. You see, date setting is a very dangerous business. Because you either make Jesus a liar or yourself a liar, one of the two. Now, some will not explicitly state the date of Christ's return, but they will teach that the saints will be resurrected and raptured in a sp at a specific time prior to the last day, prior to the return of Christ. Usually that time is either three and a half years or seven years. Dispensationalists, premillennialists, and others set a date for the resurrection of the saints and the rapture of the saints to be at some time prior to the second coming of Christ. Most of the time, like I said, either three and a half years or seven years. But whether it's three and a half years or seven years is immaterial. If you say that the resurrection of the saints and the rapturing of the saints will happen at a specific time period before the coming of Christ, let's say three and a half years, then you have in essence set a date for the second coming of Christ. Because if the saints are indeed raptured and resurrected, which this is unbiblical, this is false, absolutely false, if they are resurrected and raptured before the last day, this is false. We're told in John 6, 39, 40, 44, and 54, and in John eleven twenty four 24, that the resurrection is at the last day. Jesus says it over and over and over. I will raise them up at the last day. Martha said that her brother would rise at the resurrection at the last day. The resurrection of the righteous is at the last day. But let's just say that this unbiblical teaching that the rapture and the resurrection is three and a half years before the last day, before the return of Christ, let's say that's true. So three and a half years before Christ comes, all of a sudden the graves pop open, the, the, the bodies of the saints arise, and they're all raptured up to meet the Lord in the air. Okay, now if this teaching is true, we can say, well, we know exactly when the Lord Jesus Christ is going to return. Three and a half years after this day when the bodies of the saints arose. Do you see that? So therefore, if you say that the resurrection is any time before the last day, and you give the specific time that it's going to be, then you have, in essence, set a date for the return of Christ. And as Jesus says, said, Nobody knows the day or the hour or even the times and the seasons of his second coming. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again next week, Lord willing.